Hello YouTube, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and today I think, let's go into the job market and let's see if we can get ourselves up to I think level 8 uh, we're in Germany, we're in uh, Osnabrück someone teach me how to pronounce the names of different countries, I can just about manage France I can manage France, I can probably manage a, a couple of places in maybe Denmark or something and a few places in the Netherlands not much in Germany Frankfurt yes Nuremberg uh, that's Munich isn't it yeah I can I can pronounce a few but anyway that's not what we're doing we're not we're not here to uh, pronounce a few names here and there what we're here to do is take luxury SUVs I think because that's gonna take us on this road which I don't think we've been on so you can see there we go probably gonna go we're gonna go past Bremen Hamburg uh, through Rostock it looks like we're gonna take a ferry from Rostock right across we've been to Trelborg we haven't been to Malmo I think uh, that's probably not how you pronounce that but yeah and it's only 10 10 tons and it has 35 pounds 50 a mile that is quite good going so I am going to take that it's fragile cargo so we're gonna to have to be very careful with it and it's a standard delivery so let's set that as a GPS destination let's get ourselves underway all right Ooh, nice day is it morning or night oh I'm gonna to have to check what time of day it is it is early morning that's good for us uh, and we're headed Oh, well, there it is. So we're literally headed right here. The brakes on this are quite. I think. Let me just press the brakes in all the way. There we go. Okay. Job. Luxury SUVs take job. That wasn't too difficult. Very, very easy to start that one. Right. Okay. Let's go reverse. So I've been looking a bit more into uh, these uh, lorries and how you change gears in lorries and you know the whole idea of double clutching and some people say you, you know you do double clutch, other people say you don't. There we go, is that connected? Right, let's pull out a little bit and I think let's take a early morning sunshine shot. Let's get that into second gear anyway. Let's get some basic lights on. Let's do what should we do? Let's actually pull out. Yeah, let's actually pull out. Uh, and let's take out this red light, I think. Okay, all the lights gone green. So let's not take out the red light. Let's get ourselves underway and we'll find us we'll find a nice spot to take this early morning shot of our our new cargo or our new right there should be good yep yeah, right here looks like a good spot for it let's turn it like this and let's actually stop it right there Oop, my wheels turning backwards okay let's see what we get let's see what we get where's the sun sun's over there That's not too bad. In fact, that's not too bad at all. Look at that, something like that. That actually looks fairly good. I keep being the I because I'm using the mouse with the other hand, uh with my left hand as opposed to my right and the mouse is designed for a right hand, uh I keep hitting the uh, change speed of the mouse button, so my DPI keeps changing, which means sometimes I'm just slower on things. Right. Uh, let's get that just slightly in focus. Let's make it blur out. There we go. That's a better blur. Perfect. Saturation slightly higher. Let's bring a little bit more redness into it. There we go. And just a little bit more on the blue there. That's looking pretty good. 
maybe less tilt on that capture screenshot that is a screenshot for the episode right there now let's not crash no crash good roundabout bad Go, 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 go. Autobahn. Autobahn. Oh, hello. All right. So this is going to be interesting. So right now my speed limit is 37, so that's fine. Thirty-seven is fine by me. That that works. It's when I get onto the autobahn, I'm just wondering what the speed limit is going to be because I know that the autobahns have unrestricted sections. So, right, how do I? Where am I going? Because the map looks a little bit. Oh right, okay. So I've got to turn off onto a little side road. Uh, wow, this is a really nice road out of here, actually. I want to take more photos down here, but I think I'll take it at the top of the hill. take one right here yeah this is quite interesting let's take one right about there and that'll be that might be next episode's one if I don't get to my destination this episode which I don't think I will In fact, I think that's a brilliant place for a screenshot. Right there. I'm surprised that it only has uh, two axles at the back, not three. I would have expected three axles on the back, but there we go. I didn't take a good enough look at this lorry, did I? Didn't know what I was dealing with. Right, okay, so what's the thing? We've got 31 down here. That I can understand. 50. All right, 50 for us. Now see, what, what it is with these gearboxes, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about our gearboxes. So, the way we change manual gearboxes, for those, for those of you who are not used to manual gearboxes or aren't too certain how uh, manual gearboxes are, all right, let's get this back down to 50. I don't know whether it's unrestricted for others, but it's definitely 50 for me. So, we have different, we have obviously a gear stick, and that is connected to different forks. And that actually goes into the gearbox. Now, the forks are connected to different gear sets. So, normally you've got one and two in one fork, three and four in another fork, fifth and sixth will be in another, seventh, and obviously, there, therefore, they, they would be on there another one as well. Uh, let's get this into... Something's trying to overtake me. It's a bus. Right, uh, so right, let's actually uh, switch those off because we don't need them. Actually, we do need... Ah, there we go. Um, so you've got this 5th and 6th on a different one, and 7th and so on. They'll be on different forks. So you have normally two gears to a, you know, connected to one fork. And those are connected on different shafts so you've got the input shaft which is coming in from the flywheel uh, so that's obviously that's the one connected to the engine so that's constantly rotating then you've got the clutch plate and then you've got beyond that you've got the um, you've actually got the gearbox itself so in the gearbox you've got a uh, you've got the main shafts uh, which are the ones that are then going out to the uh, out to the wheels and then you've got a shaft a counter shaft now the counter shaft is one that is actually underneath and that is the one that does a lot of the speed reduction if need be so when you connect first gear 
what happens is you've got a synchro. Uh, where am I going from here? I'm just going to follow where we're going. It's hard to it's hard to talk and focus on new new territory. Oh, right, it's straight from here. All right, that's fine. So you've got a, you've got a synchro now. What the synchro does is imagine you're in. Oh, that's unrestricted, isn't it? It's restricted for me, but that car is flying. That's unrestricted for them. So uh, yeah, definitely unrestricted. Imagine you're in. Let's say third gear. I'm not going to explain all the workings of the gearbox. 120. Why is it still showing 50 for me? I don't think it is 50. Actually, I'm, no, I'm going to stay in this lane. Wait, 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 wait. 120. I'm going for it. Let's actually get some speed up in this lorry for once.
I am in Rostock almost, but I am going to end the episode here. And uh, we'll, we'll pull into Rostock in the next episode. Um, go across the way and park ourselves up here. And then, if we can, I'm going to go to Ikea and see if I can find something from Ikea again. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode here. That probably wasn't a very good explanation of gearboxes. Um, next time I talk about gearboxes and stuff, I'm going to make sure that I talk about it, one, in a more professional manner, and two, not while I'm driving in places that I have never been before. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2. And leave a comment in the comments box below. Uh, if you've got any topics that you want me to talk about, do let me know because then I will, obviously, I'll do them instead of just blabbering on randomly about gearboxes. Who knows, maybe next week I'll talk about differentials, uh, you know, and how they work and how you can get limited slip diffs and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. For, for now, though, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys next week.